Hi everyone, my name is Kate Kaltoff and welcome to a Stamping to Share video. Today I'm going to share with you how to create this cute gift card holder and I have a couple of tips as well. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by showing you the die that I used. This is our petite pocket die and when I first got it, um, of course I was going to get it no matter what because it has Shelly's signature on the back which means it's one of Shelly's favorites. So I thought well if it's Shelly's favorite it's, it can be my favorite too. And so I purchased it and then I wasn't really really sure what I would use it for. Um, I thought it made cute little pockets in your scrapbooks and things but then when I found out that it held gift cards then I was all over it. And so this is one of the gift cards that I made recently and you just go ahead and you you cut it out with the with the big shot machine and of course you'll use your extended platform your extended cutting pads and then I have found that it is easier you'll see how these all fold together so nicely you'll find that it's easier to fold up this bottom flap right here if you actually angle cut the edges like so so that's what I went ahead and did. And then also another thing that you'll want to notice is that when you do fold this up, I hope you can see it on the camera, but you can tell that there's quite a bit of a lip that shows here on each edge, which means that you have to keep your adhesive very close to this inside edge here. And I like to use sticky strip, especially when I'm using it for a gift card holder. It is a snug fit with your gift cards but uh, it does fit all the same, especially the Caribou gift cards because those are my favorite to give and to receive by the way. So anyway, you're just going to take sticky strip and you're just going to put sticky strip on these flaps and you're going to put it at the very, very edge so that when you do fold it up it won't show here. Now I have one kind of prepared so that we can go ahead and get started. Um, and I've already peeled off the this this uh, sticky strip and then we just fold it up and your gift card ready your gift card is pretty much ready to go so I like to decorate it a little bit and one of the things that I did is I took 30 inches of our Baker's or well, actually this is um, natural linen thread I just wrapped it around and then I tied it in the back so I wrapped it around twice and tied it back here. I'll just do a loose bow. The reason is, is I want to be able to get at this later so that I can put my gift card in it. And it is an almost two person job for me to make a bow, but we'll see how I do here. Flip this through. There we go, nice and loose just for the time being. Okay, so we're ready to decorate and one of the things that I like to decorate with is glimmer paper and stamping up kept the champagne glimmer paper from our holiday catalog and brought it into spring and one of the things that I used was our Biddy Banners framelits and I just went ahead and cut, cut a little framelit banner out of some glimmer paper and then I took a heart punch and I just, this is our small heart punch and I just punched a little heart from it as well. And then I used two dimensionals and if you'll notice the placement of the dimensionals, I left this inside area open and that way when I put it onto my flap here that closes it, the string will still flow freely through the center. Oops, it looks like I did this a little bit crooked. Let's see if I can move it. There we go. All right, and the next thing that I did is I used the Pretty Petites. It's a Stamping Up stamp set from the Celebration catalog, and there's one of these little Pretty Petites that has nothing in the center. It's just a plain frame. And I noticed that some of my customers, when they were making this project, they tended to stamp a little bit too hard and they'd get this indentation in the center. And I don't know if you know this, but one way to prevent that, let's see if I can find my ink here. I 
you tend to have a little bit of a heavy hand, and especially with these new ink pads, it's pretty easy to, um, to get ink into the center of your stamp. And one thing you can do to prevent that is using your paper piercing mat, just flip it over to the other side and then take a piece of scratch paper here. And then when you stamp on your paper, you can actually put quite a bit of pressure on it and as long as you're using your, your um, mat to stamp on. So I find that my more heavy-handed stampers do better stamping on a mat and then that can prevent some of these indentations that, that tend to happen to, to them. The neat thing about this Celebration stamp set is it also um, coordinates with our Celebration punch, which is the Petite Curly Label Punch. So I'm just going to go ahead and punch this out. And we're going to put a dimensional on it right here. And that just goes into the very center of our cute gift card holder. And then, of course, the finishing touch is the heart of gold. So this will be a perfect gift for someone who has a heart of gold. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you learned a little bit of something today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.